For more than 40 years, Rick Allen has been the drummer of one of the best-selling rock bands of all time, with mega hits like Pour Some Sugar On It. Def Leppard has sold more than 100 million records worldwide. All the money and fame that comes with it, and still, those who know Rick best will tell you that's not what's most impressive about him. And to really understand that, we need to go back to the 80s. Rick joined Def Leppard when he was just 15. By the time he was 21, the band was a huge success. And then you buy a Corvette. Ah, yeah. December 31st, 1984, an afternoon drive in that Corvette would change the course of Rick's life. The crash happened fast. It was a violent rollover. As the car rolled, the seatbelt came undone, and the seatbelt took my arm as I was flying out through the car. His right shoulder broken, his left arm gone. This picture was taken of Rick the first day out of the hospital. It would be the first day of the rest of his life. Relearning how to do everything from water skiing and shooting pool to playing the drums with just one arm. The band stood by Rick and when he was strong enough, Def Leppard went on recording and touring, releasing Hysteria. The band's most successful album to date. So this is where it all happens. Today, with the pandemic putting the band on pause, we visited Rick and his wife Lauren at their California home. Rick shows us his drum kit and how the technology allows him to sound like he did before the crash. The foot pedals sort of mimic what your left arm would do. Absolutely what it does. Let's see, I'm playing here. You know. So I can actually go here instead of having to reach all the way over here. Playing, Rick says, is almost a meditative experience. He's happy on the drums, and on this day, happy to share with others the peace that music brings him. That's great. Hey. I, t I, t I told you he's a real player. <laughs> Rick also revealed his other passion, painting. He made this for his mom when he was five. When he's not playing, Rick is tapping into his personal pain to find renewed purpose, painting the people and places that inspire him. I was never really formally trained, but I, I knew a few things. I started out with telephone boxes and the buses and just all those iconic things that everybody associates with England or London. Yeah, see, yeah well, it's a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> Rick sometimes uses his only hand to sign his paintings. I nearly lost this one as well. So for me, it's just a reminder of everything that I went through and everything that I put this poor old hand through. Rick's art sold at Wentworth Gallery, owned by Christian O'Mahony. The impact that it can have on people because of the similarity that he has with people that have suffered that type of trauma, uh, he really sees it as a blessing. Christian says collectors are paying up to tens of thousands of dollars. Rick began donating part of the proceeds to wounded warriors after a visit to Walter Reed Medical Center in 2006. I was so taken by the whole visit and how much people looked up to me and what, what I'd done. But then I saw what these guys were going through. What I got from him was, from him was uh, he was humble. U.S. Army veteran Norby Lara lost his arm in Iraq. He felt immediately connected to Rick and Lauren. It was um, really cool to be around someone who had been through something you know, very similar to myself, losing an arm, and still being able to smile. Lauren is a singer, songwriter, and a teacher. Rick says she's been helping him heal physically and emotionally since the day they met 20 years ago. Together, they run the nonprofit Raven Drum Foundation. We collaborate with different nonprofits uh, to be able to facilitate healing through programs and fundraising and concerts. A focus on veterans with head trauma and PTSD, both Rick still grapples with. When I met Rick, he didn't know he had PTSD. <laughs> and, and that was... a. Uh something he was really struggling with. You know, it's something that we work on all the time to, to help build his resiliency. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to welcome, to induct into the Hall of Fame, Def Leppard! And in 2019, when Def Leppard was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, lead singer Joe Elliott paid tribute to Rick's resilience. Rick has a life-changing accident. He survived it, 
and came out the other side stronger. A minute-long standing ovation by rock royalty. Lauren and the crowd, both overwhelmed by emotion. If you could go back into that hospital room and tell the 21-year-old version of yourself one thing that would help him get through the rest of the hospital stay, what would it be? Yeah. <laughs> your heart and your house. All these years later, Rick is still healing, still working through the pain and emotion of that crash and all that followed. If you were given the chance to go back and not have that happen, would you? That's a really good question. In many ways, I think it enabled me to grow in so many ways. It became a blessing, a responsibility, a responsibility to other people, to myself. And I think that has become a huge gift. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.